Hello and welcome back to Fatal 12. On the last episode, we just chatted and talked to our two friends, Naomi and Mao. Well, I say we just did that. We offered to teach them how to make coffee. We found a book. Uh, no idea how we got there. It didn't have any pages in. It did have a hole, which uh, probably could fit a phone in. And... Other than that, yeah, we had a, we did have a strange dream, which I'm assuming uh, the deity or entity that's supposed to signify God uh, was there to talk to us. Though they were kind of like, it's not a big deal, don't worry about me, kind of mentality. But uh, yeah, no, um, we we do know for a fact we have 12 weeks to do what we need to do. They have not told us what that is yet, so we may as well try and find out as soon as possible. And what we're going to currently do is going to tell Naomi about the book we found. <laughs> Since you mentioned it, what kind of book were you talking about earlier? She jumped back to the topic I, I'm not expecting. Oh, did I pique your interest? You certainly did. I'm curious because you said it seemed expensive. Makes sense, considering you're into books. Give me a second, I'll bring, I'll bring it down. Not like I have any customers right now. And the street's fairly empty. I make my way up the stairs to get it. Here you go. An auburn covered with gold leaf decorations. I can tell Naomi's impressed. Judging by the, uh, the hushed noises she's making while examining the cover. This drums what I uh, had imagined. It seems really old, but it doesn't have the smell of other old books do. Um, do you mind if I open it? Go for it, you'll be disappointed. Go ahead, but it's pretty weird. How so? Her inquisitive look shifts to a confused expression upon opening it. You can't blame her. There aren't any real pages. It's just a, a big rectangular hole in the middle. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like the... Like, that looks like the base, it's like not to... Nothing you can pick up. You're right, this is weird. It reminds me of, the, of those old magical card books. The... Uh, popular, that were popular back in the day, I don't know what she's talking about. Card books? Did you ever watch that one show where the girl would transform using cards uh, and fight things? Um... The best I can think of is... Digimon? Digimon Tamers? Because they use cards to obviously modify the Digimon. Um, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Are you really just a matter of... Is this a matter of jealousy? Uh, not jealousy, um, embarrassment? Uh, the book is just a glorified box that you store cards in. Um, okay, I think I know what you're, you're on about. But, uh, the... I mean, the versions I saw had, like, more than one place to put cards. Wait a minute. Uh, are these cards of the bombs? They are, so there is something in there. I didn't notice at first because they're so thin, but... Oh, you're right. They, 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 sh they share the same pattern as the cover, so I need I never noticed. Yeah, I assumed it was just, uh, that was just the base of the... Um, or like It was just an empty box that you could put something in. Uh, can I take them out? Go for it. Uh, we probably shouldn't mess with it anymore. It might be my grand. Uh, let me ask about it first. Well, why did she leave it in our room? We didn't put it there. It's no regular book, at least. I feel bad if uh, we uncover something she'd been uh, wanting to keep secret. What? What What do you think your grandmother gets up to? That's why it's best to ask before we pry any further. Now, Miss Hands, fly off the book almost immediately after I say that. Sorry, I always get carried away. It's, I always get so carried away when it comes to books. I shouldn't have been fiddling it with so much. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm the one who brought it down. I mean, you know, you brought it down. You made her happy. No reason to, to apologize. You can tell she was ent entranced by it. I guess the book uh, like this would sound fa uh, would fascinate uh, anyone who's into books as her. Okay, I should probably just put this back upstairs. 
As soon as the words fall out of my mouth, someone new walks through uh, the door. An actual customer. Someone who actually has a sprite, though. No one of the regulars, though. A woman uh, with a suitcase. Likely a tourist from Baroud. Uh, she ends up asking uh, where her hotel is, which is um, which is apparently closer to Shinjuku. That I, which what? Uh, I end up telling her that she came a bit too far out. Apparently, she comes to uh, she came she come to Japan alone to tour all, all the famous temples, but it isn't a bit of a pain. She, she can't understand the language. Once I tell her where to go, she think so. Okay, so we're speaking Japanese. I guess, but um, then right, so, so Ringa knows obviously English. She doesn't order anything, but she's kind enough to, to say that. I, uh, but she's kind enough that I can forgive her. So wait, you you wouldn't forgive anyone if they entered and left. All right, uh, wow, well, I had no idea you were that good at English. Yeah, I no <laughs> army. I only if we could get that good as well. Army couldn't contain her excitement after the woman leaves. What do you mean? I'm awful at it. Are you trying to be humble? You were speaking English. Uh, you were speaking fluent English to that lady. Huh. And now I'm the one who's surprised. We we were speaking English. It felt as natural that there's any other conversation to have uh, to me. Then again, she did mention that she didn't understand Japanese. There's no way I, uh, she'd say that if, if we weren't there. Uh, what? Uh, she would. There's no way she'd say that if we had such a fluent conversation. What's going on here? I hope you don't expect me to answer. To, uh, wait, I hope you don't expect an answer. I'm confused. I, I know what's going on. She's speaking a different language without knowing. It's like, for example, for people who have seen it, it's. What Harry Potter does when he uh, sees a snake for the first time, or well, and the second time. But I'm confused simply because of the, f I guess the phrasing, but also the other confusion. After putting the book upstairs, I return. Uh, uh, I return with one of my English textbooks. Throw some questions at me, okay? Uh, how about basic vocab? Let's see. She throws some questions at me like I, at, uh, like I ask, and lo and behold, I can barely answer them. See? That doesn't begin to describe my English skills. I, don't, I understand that, but I'm con now I'm concerned for a different reason. She tries to be as polite as possible when pointing out my uh, inadequacy. Funnily enough, she didn't, have, uh, uh, she didn't have to look back at the textbook for the last few questions. It's worth noting that while studying isn't exactly my forte, English is a subject I struggle with more than others. Same. Give, give me mathematics. I'll, I'll happily take numbers. Because, you know, mathematics, mathematics doesn't change subjectively. It's objective. And I'm annoyed, I guess, at the topic of English. Anyway. That makes me. Uh, that makes the fact that you were talking to with her even uh, all the more strange. Then maybe she was another participant in the game, and the part all the participants can understand each other. It felt like I was having a regular conversation. So if anything, I'm more dubious about whether or not Naomi's right. I doubt anything will come from thinking it over, uh, over for now. So I'll pay more attention next time a uh, foreigner comes along. Well, now that I'm here, could I order a coffee, please? Not for free, of course. Thank you for offering to pay, unlike now. I don't mind, but don't worry. I mean it. Uh, I meant it when I said it, when I said I'd like it. I'd like the coffee you make. Okay. The smile on her face is almost blinding as she speaks. I can feel my cheeks warming up. It, it, up red, right? It, a bright red. It's hard to describe the happiness those words installed with me. Or installed me with. See? Mixing up words. English is not my forte. Um... It might actually be the first time anyone's said that to me, considering I mainly serve reg regulars. 
yeah, I can I can see how that would be. Yeah. They typically compare me to my gran, which isn't at all bad, but they've never praised me as an individual. That's why I can't help but be taken aback by what she said. Even so, that I struggled to give a proper response, let alone thank her for it. I make some coffee to pay for her, and then I sip on it while reading the book. As she does that, I either handle orders for customers or clear up the tableware. Once an hour passed, Naomi gets her things together and comes over to the register. I feel bad taking money from uh, from a junior, but she seems satisfied enough. She is literally paying you for the job you're doing. It's not it's not like a sub well it is social in the sense of obviously you two are friends and you can have a chat over it. But you know, as you said to uh, someone we met last time, um I forget. But but you were uh, adamant you had a business to run. Nope, you were saying that the Mao actually, not even talking about the right person. Oh yeah, you got any plans for the, uh, the last day of Golden Week? Sunday, I mean? Uh, no, I don't mind. Me, Mao, and me, Harry, that's who it was. Our plan to go to the Stardust Kingdom. We'd rather have an even number of uh, so no one ends up on, on the ride alone. Wanna come? Stardust Kingdom? I'd love to go. I'm expecting a but. Uh, good. I'll tell the others and we'll get the group uh, chat up set up for it. Actually, will Miharu be okay with us? See? Well, that's... It, well, it wasn't necessarily a but, but it wasn't actually. But, uh, do you two not get along? Well, no need to worry about that. So long as you're up for it and your uh, purse permits it, you're welcome to come. Okay, if you say so. I'm not quite sure why she's acting so re uh, reserved in regards to Miharu, but at least she's willing to join us. Uh, are you intimidated by Miharu? Are you envious? I don't know. Because, I mean, I guess you're envious of all... Uh, is it culinary? You, brewing skills. Uh, I get back to work after uh, seeing her off. Okay, so that answers my question. So we are in, we are in May, and it is now obviously the third. This th uh, first thing I do once I return to my room at the end of the uh, day is uh, message Gran. I keep thinking massage. Seems like she's willing to think of a recipe for us. The book doesn't ring any bells for her though. Seems like there's uh, uh, there are several books here with similar bindings but they're plain old books. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious about them, but that isn't enough to make me want to search through my grand's room. Uh, now I need to figure out what to do with this. Well, no, you know, um, Naomi said there was, Naomi said there was, a uh, cards inside. Actually, Naomi did mention that there were cards, cards, exactly, see? So, check inside, may as well see what the cards are on. Uh, might as well have a look at it. I flip over, over the book and dropping uh, the cards out. Four in total. Uh, all with a similar pattern uh, as the, to the book's cover. Do... Are they all, like, specific, at specific time? Also, wait, hold on. That is backwards. Three's on the wrong side. They need to flip this. Why is this so why is it the wrong way around? Turning them over to the front, I know something was written in white on the white background. The writing itself is in English, but I, uh, and I can read it perfectly uh, fine for some reason. I name uh she 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 uh, Rinka. Okay, one uh Federico uh Kamenai. Uh, for cause of death, fire. Uh, nine regret, gold medal. So this is sort of like a future diary thing, because we. I 
forgot what I forgot what the first name was. Why is my name written here? Can't help but ask out loud. I'm not too sure what the other cards are about, but uh, but it's easy to imagine that there's no uh, no good. It's no good. Uh, it's nothing good when the cause of death uh, and regrets are mentioned. Uh, it's probably a whole bunch of uh, uh, a bunch of them, considering the numbers. Even that's right. So it, it, it skips two. So one to three. So me, something, then three our opponent maybe. How they kill us. Skips all the way to nine. That's probably the whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of them, considering the uh, the numbers. Even though it fills up the entire book, I guess. When did all the other cards? When did all the other cards disappear, though? More importantly, why was this book uh, on my desk in the first place? I scoured the internet as well, but nothing relevant came up. Whatever the case, these cards have personal information on them. Doubted someone who just so happens to have the same name as me either. That is also a cause for concern, yes. Yeah, probably. Me, I will... I can't tell if I'd be freaking out at this point or not, because obviously my name, plus something linked to the weird dream. Honestly, maybe... I'm actually going to check see, because uh, there's options, right? Summary, open card book. One. One, three. A name, name, cause of death, regret. Rinka, Frederico, cause of death, regret. Okay. That's interesting. Hold on. So that was in, that was in cards. Game, resume, main menu, settings, load data, save data, summary. What's the summary? Okay. So Oh so wait, so this is this is yes so this is okay, this is the story. So the cards are what we need to pay attention to, I guess. Selling book it's uh, is an option now. Why would you even want to sell it? It looks cool. I keep it just for the case. I put the cards back uh, inside before placing the book on my bookshelf. I'd honestly try and keep that on on hand. Well, I say that I probably just, I'd be staring at the cards for a while, just trying to think of everything I could possibly mean. Or I'd probably just be looking up the name. Number three, Frederico. I'm just gonna call it Fred for short. It's probably worth uh, showing Naomi uh, whenever she gets. Uh, Whenever she's here next, two pairs of eyes are better than one, after all. It's not a matter of eyes, though, I think. It's a matter of brain power. I should message Mao, actually. I waved on my phone and sent a message uh, about Naomi joining us for the uh, Stardust Kingdom, which she replies almost immediately. Really? Like, really, really? Jeez, don't get me wrong, I want to go with uh, no Noreen, but... Eh, whatever. Let me tell... Uh, uh, Miha Run... Uh, Miha Run? about it. Do you not like Naomi? Uh, well, a bit of an odd uh, for response. She has said it like there's no issue with... She said it like there's no issue with Naomi joining us. She emphasized that uh, I shouldn't get... Uh, I shouldn't get in touch with my, my, Miharu, though. Well, bits of space. Yeah, I'm confused about the, all this. I was usually the one who gets his stuff sorted out, so I don't pay much mind. I'd rather think about the uh, fun theme park experience waiting for us in a few days. The store will be open tomorrow, as per usual, so I like to make my way. To, uh, so I make my way to bed nice and early. Did we just skip? We did. We skipped three days. One hour after the uh, park opens, we finally passed through the hellish queue to get in. We came uh, we came an hour early, but it turns out others came even earlier. Yeah, people always come outside. Well, at least we didn't have to wait in line for tickets, thanks to uh, Mao asking to pick them up uh, beforehand. Still, we totally un uh, underestimated how busy it would be during Golden Week. No, you knew it would be the busiest. 
I like that's a nice outfit. Phew, finally inside. You wanna take a quick selfie? Usually I'm against selfies, but I feel like this group of friends should probably take one. You don't even wait for a response before snapping of some pictures. Now that's just rude. Uh, some with me, some with Miharu, and some just by herself. Do you not like uh, Naomi? Barry's gonna die if, he, uh, if, he, if you're always taking pictures. No worries. I got a power bank with me. Smart. Fair enough. Everybody's looking nice. Yeah. I wouldn't mind taking some pictures with you, Rinka. Let's all squish together then. I don't mind, but hey, it might as well get a picture with it of you two together. I mean, that's just the picture of sprites. Naomi tries to uh, to hide her bewilderment through awkward laughter. Cool. Uh, get out those purses, ladies. It's time to splurge. Already? Shouldn't we actually? Yeah, I would probably try and keep some money. Not only just for, obviously, uh, trinkets and stuff, but obviously there's food, there's transport. I agree. I'm typically, uh, typically not a fan of roller coasters, but I might be fine if I'm uh, sitting beside Rinka. Why? Ah, uh, but theme parks are all about the, the cute trinkets you can buy. Oh yeah, there's a parade later on, and I want to go to uh, that. I want to see you down, Noreen. I'd like to see the parade too, but I'll leave the decision to you three. No doubt, this game I'll be getting the choice. Looks like uh, Naomi decides to uh, go with the flow. Can't blame her either. Uh, pitching an idea uh, to this group is kind of difficult. The closest thing. Uh, from here is Brilliant Tower. Seems like it's a free for all. Uh, a free fall. Free for all. I'm too busy thinking of fighting. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to wait another line. That's fair. Uh, oh, apparently that if you uh, they have tickets here, like you skip a headline, but there there's a limited amount. I looked into that myself while we were waiting to get in. We wouldn't be able to use them for another hour because it's so busy. But it might be worth getting some now. Sounds good. Yeah, get some now, you save them for later. Sounds good. Uh, let's check out the shops while we pick up uh, those up. The parade isn't until the end of the day. So let's decide if we want to see it or not after getting into on some rides. <laughs> wow, Lita Rinker's up in here. I mean, considering... I potentially am dragging the three of you into a death game, not necessarily death game, into a battle royale. I'm fine with that plan. I'll leave everything to you. Damn, can you spell out protagonist anymore? Anyway, uh, with that, let's make a way over to the trinket machine. I can feel myself getting excited about how fun today will... It will it's not going to be fun. Oh, I have to watch out for the fire, don't I? Um, because it never, it never said, it never said a time, did it? It just said that's the cause of death. The sky is pitch black, when closing time looms near, allowing all the fancy illuminations to light up at the park. Me and uh, Miharu uh, take a rest on one of the benches near the entrance. Since the mountain now we split up there from us to buy some, to buy something they forgot to get earlier, is it food? Uh, nothing but a, uh, but couples around here. Want to sit uh, somewhere else? Hardly surprising, considering they were at the theme park on a holiday. Yeah, wouldn't it? I would have imagined there'd be a group of friends, honestly. Still, it's all good sitting around here uh, who are openly flirting with each other. I try to get up in, uh, so we can move some elsewhere, but Mihara grabs it onto my sleeve and stops me. Uh... No, I'd stay here. Oh, well... I don't know. I don't know, honestly, because, like, it all depends if I would have noticed this thing. If I noticed it, I probably would be a bit embarrassed and be like, let's give him some space. But if I, other, if I was oblivious, you, most of the time I am, I'd probably be fine with it, so. So, yeah, sure. And you seem fine with it. Okay. That's a nice dress in the background. Today's truly really been a good day. It's not often you respond like that, after all. 
It's not often that she wears such a, a shy expression either. She's normally a lot more outspoken, but something seems to, uh, to be on her mind right now. Uh, soon after, people start to gather around us uh, to see the Im uh, impending parade. Seems like we picked up a pretty good spot, by coincidence, judging by the number of our onlookers. The only issue is that it'll be hard to meet back up with Mao and Naomi uh, if it gets any more packed, so I try to move again. My hero uh, maintains a refusal to let go of my sleeve, though, and I fail to find the words to make a stop. I mean, if anything, it prevents us from being separated, so... You know. Uh, elephants, as we used to call it when I was younger, as a child. Uh, yeah, silence between us continues. This isn't normal. She's not human. She's not the person we used to know. Kill the clone. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Uh, people tend to get uh, to get the wrong impression about her. Since she rarely talks to anyone other than us, she actually has a great sense of humor. She enjoys talking about uh, the most meaningless things, uh, meaningless stuff too. That's anyone with her friends, right? And yet, here we sit in utter silence. She's looking a bit shy, but there's determination in her expression as well. So I can't bring myself to say anything. Uh, the park staff sets up barricades near the bench during this time to make sure that no one can get in the way of the parade before uh, they start organizing uh, organize people into lines. We could just stay uh, seated, but doing so will, uh, while the rest of the crowd waits around will... Uh, yeah, we're trying to all excited to get this, uh, too awkward. Uh, hey, Rinka. We speak at the same time, possibly uh, because we're thinking of the same thing. What is it? You go first. Oh, I just wanted to say that today was fun. It really was. I don't think we're going to be on the same wavelength. Oh, I wanted to stay. I want to stay and watch the parades. I'll send Mao a message if you do. I'd love to. This is the first time I've been to a theme park, so I was curious about, about, about the parade. I rarely go anywhere with, my, with, anywhere with my family. I tend to stay in at night. That's so. Her only response is a smile. Back to awkward silence. The only difference is that uh, she has a, a downcast expression now, which morphs into one of worry. But then... Uh, that hint of determination returns. What I wanted to say earlier was, as soon as she starts, people around us begin to cheer. Immediately after, all the park illuminations go dark, which signals the start of the lively music. Looks like the bridge starting. It sure is. You are not having a good time, lady. Just, uh... Best I can say is just go for it. I mean... Obviously I might be misreading the situation. But it, to be fair, it's, it looks like a generic love confession situation. Again, might not be their thing. But you know, as long as she's having fun, which she's claiming she has, but she's also looking sad, so she might not be. The sheer amount of noise coming from the parade makes it impossible for us to talk, uh, talk while well, things are going on. I wouldn't wouldn't stop me from trying. Regardless, uh, just uh, seeing that seeing it is enough for me. It's one of the things uh, you can just sit back and appreciate. The parade comes uh, uh, to an end about half an hour later. Part of me still wants uh, is still entranced even after the park illuminates up uh, spark back on. Once most people who uh, came to see it move on, I tell Miharu that we should go too. She slowly loosens her grip uh, on my sleeve before standing. Are you... that was... okay, that was very pretty. Are you... but are you happy though? Because you may not be, based on what I understand. Also the clock in the background, I've just noticed that. Yeah, it was, I'm glad that, uh, we watched it. I hope this isn't the last time we get. Uh, I hope this isn't the last time we go out like this. What you mean, separated and potentially like? I imagine Naomi's having a heart attack. Honestly, Mao's not really paying attention. 
that's just the impression I get from them. She says this while with dramatic. Uh, with, with, she says this with a dramatically different uh, tone of voice. Don't worry, there'll be plenty more chances. Not like we're uh, parting ways at any time soon. Except, chances are she's another participant in the game. Right. Thanks, Rinka. Uh, the capital T. Confu uh, uh, anyway, hearing that is enough uh, to keep me going. Next event is the fireworks display in August. I guess. Uh, I'll be sorry. That's like that's more than twelve weeks away. We won't make it. Haven't talked to Mao about it yet, but let's all go to that. I'll make sure uh, to emphasize that we should all go. Definitely. She replies uh, with one clear, simple word. It's so clear, in fact, that it worried me a little. Normally, you wouldn't uh, be so firm about planning a, a night out with friends. Because I'm right. Because either they don't like N Naomi, Naomi's doing some evil, or either we're gonna be dead, or so there. My, my phone vibrates. I was just sending me a message, and, it, and when I turn around, upon reading it, both her and Naomi are walking towards us. At least they're together. Still, with that, as we're reuniting with the entire group, I think we should call it there. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. Hopefully I can see you in the next one, and if you like the series, let me know so I can continue, you know, so I've got a reason to keep playing the game. With that, goodbye.